Now, a topic that is sure to be a bit controversial, but it really shouldn't be because the data, at least to me, are very clear, is this issue of phone use and sperm quality. Now, this can open up a whole array of issues related to things like EMFs, and you've got people out there that have you know, ideas about 5G and all of this stuff. That is not what this discussion is about. The discussion I'm about to have with you relates to the fact that the electromagnetic fields and the heat related effects of smartphones can indeed have a detrimental effect on sperm quality and yes, indeed on testosterone levels as well. I'm gonna refer you to a paper. Uh, we will link it in the show note captions. The title of this paper is Effects of Mobile Phone Usage on Sperm Quality. No Time Dependent Relationship on Usage, a Systematic Review and Updated Meta-Analysis. This is a paper that came out in 2021 and talks about the fact that phones emit a radio frequency electromagnetic waves, which are called, called RF, radio frequency EMWs, electromagnetic waves, at a low level between 80 and 2200 megahertz that can be absorbed by the human body. We know this, okay, this is not controversial and have potential adverse effects on brain, heart, endocrine system and reproductive function. That has been established. Keep in mind, there is basically no controversy that radio frequency waves and EMFs can have a negative impact on biological tissues. The question is how intense are those radio frequency waves and EMFs and how detrimental are those on those biological tissues, okay? It's a matter of degrees, but there is very little controversy as to whether or not they have an effect on biological tissues. And I'm aware of absolutely zero data showing that they can have a positive effect on biological tissues. Since what we're mainly talking about now are smartphones, we wanna separate out the heat effects of smartphones from the EMFs related to the fact that they are Wi-Fi smartphones or they're using cellular towers and Wi-Fi, one or the other a combination. Okay, so there are a number of different things in the phone that could be detrimental. We need to separate those out. Why? Well, because you might have heard that carrying your phone in your pocket can reduce your testosterone levels and sperm count. And guess what? That is true. 